Welcome back to the Fathers of Mercy here in Auburn, Kentucky. And today, we're going to talk about why the fish is an ancient Christian symbol. Now, I'm sure you've been driving on the road at some point, and you've seen either a decal or a magnet of an outline of a fish on the back of a car. Or maybe on your, you have a magnet on your fridge that's the outline of a fish, and sometimes it has like a gospel passage. And it's commonly understood that the fish is a Christian symbol, right? But why is that? Well, the Greek word for fish is the word ichthus. And the early Christians used to use the word ichthus for fish as an acronym. And what that means is that every single letter of the word ichthus stood for another Greek word. So if you know Greek letters, I'll spell the word ichthus for you. It's yoda, chi, theta, upsilon, sigma. And each of these Greek letters would stand then for another Greek word. And each of those Greek words would be Jesus Christos Theo, Huos Soter, which means Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. So the early Christians would use that image of a fish to symbolize that statement for them. So whenever the early Christians would see the outline of a fish, which they would put on their tombs, you can find them in the catacombs, it would stand for that Greek word of fish, ichthus, which would be an acronym for them, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. So hopefully now, when you're driving around and you see you know, an outline of that fish, your mind, too, is drawn to that same exact idea, that same symbolism that the early Christians were drawn to as well. And the whole point of that symbolism of the fish to symbolize that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, our Savior. So hopefully this helps us have a deeper appreciation for the history of our Christian faith and that symbolism of the fish. Once again, we'll end with a blessing. Dominus Subiscu. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.